Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. I did a part of my camera just fall off. What the heck was that? Whoa. Okay, so today Sam is taking care of some work stuff right now. I uh, have to go to the orthodontist. I have to leave in about an hour. I have a pit in my stomach. Are you guys used to that by now? Every time I go to the orthodontist, I talk about how I have a pit in my stomach. But this time I'm particularly a little nervous. Something we're doing isn't working and I'm not gonna have these braces on for another two months. This is month four. They told me three to four and they're claiming I have another two. And last month my teeth, my teeth did not move at all. So why would I keep them on for another two? I'm just a mess. It's not their fault. I know they can't help it. And that's why I don't want to get sassy because it's not their fault. But like, I'm 24 years old. You know, another month in braces at 14 is not the same as another month in braces at 24. So I'm just a nervous wreck. I don't like going to the orthodontist because I don't like them potentially saying, yep, yep, nope, you're gonna have them for another two months. Um, and now that I've talked for about two minutes about teeth, let's look at something much cuter. Look at him. It's my work laptop. It needed to uh, update. And so I had to just shut it because <sighs> your girl just, she, I can't, I can't stare at the computer update again. So someone came and yayed. Someone wants to just, oh, cuddle. You're so cute. I actually really wanted, trying to put on my shoe. I actually really wanted to show you guys this, um, these jeans that I'm wearing. I can't remember what I've showed you guys and stuff, but you know, this is kind of a place I like to keep you updated on current life stuff. Um, these jeans are jeans that I wear. Like I had a pair of boyfriend jeans that I really liked and they had way too many holes in them. Like it just got kind of got obnoxious. So I bought these from American Eagle. Hold on. Look how cute. They're like, Tom girl jeans, I think is what they're called. The back is like a little loose, but it's still very form fitting. Got some holes and then they're rolled up. So this is my outfit for today. Whenever Sam gets back from taking care of his, good Lord, focus camera. Whenever Sam gets back from taking his like work, doing his work stuff, um, we're gonna do some things around the house. Hopefully today we're gonna go get this guest bed because We've had that guest bedroom cleared out for like two or three days, I think. And the place where the bed is, is just locked. So we just have to call the person who has the key and just get them to leave us the key. So it's kind of a quick update on what we're doing today. I'm so nervous about this appointment. It's ridiculous. It's orthodontists, they're the nicest people. So we got in, it's this, what is it? Is there even a name for it? No, I don't think there's a name. Kalini? I'm not sure, but it is this like I think that's supposed to be scratch tape, basically, that we have to put on the bottom of our furniture because our cats have torn it up. Sam has actually gotten a lot of this up, but this part not even bad. It's this one's really bad. So you can see it there. It's like horrible. I mean, Allie has torn this thing up and we have done everything everything we can do so it basically at this point we're just gonna have to tape it hope it kind of keeps it together i mean this is like you know good furniture but furniture we bought last it's forever. yeah it's good furniture but into the other house. yeah it's not meant to last us forever so let's go talk about this guest bedroom with them babe let's answer this number one burning question i am not pregnant that they have sam is not pregnant you guys Come on. And, and look to prove it. Here, drink this. Stop. Prove it. You wouldn't drink on camera if you were pregnant. So there you go. Can I drink wine? Can I drink wine instead? I guess. I don't know if they have any. Okay. Let's let's answer this burning question. Are you pregnant? I'm not. No. Me neither. I'm pretty sure. I'm very I sure. I we are going to make a lot of money. Yeah. Maybe you should be. I'm not pregnant though. So people think that this guest bedroom in here that is now echoing, this one is all cleared out, 
they think that we are lying to you guys and that we are actually turning this into a nursery and we just haven't said anything yet. By this time next week, there will be a full size or queen size bed in here. So mm -hmm. that hopefully would. Yep. Not a crib. I don't know what baby's room has that kind of artwork in it. A lot of baby's rooms. Ba baby's rooms definitely have. Our girls' rooms would have. No, they don't. Look, they have the birds. Birds are staying. You have no idea what people were saying. They felt so bad for you. <laughs> because I stole your birds. And all my little mini almonds are going in here too. Wow. It's just storage right now, but we are not pregnant. Sam is not pregnant. He is not with child. Let's see, let's see how before we start drinking. Okay, so he's had he's had a bad day. We've had kind of a rough week. Our whole family has. Sam, do you have an old pair of strap-on shin guards you're not using? Who's asking? My mommy. Um, also, update on my braces. So I went to the orthodontist today, and God love them. I mean, they're just the nicest. Hold on, let me turn the, the this down. Um, I mean, they are just the nicest people probably ever. And I just went in and I was like, when are these coming off? I, I really want them off. I can't continue to do this. Usually they, I'm in the chair for like 10 minutes and usually you don't go to the orthodontist every four weeks when you have braces, but they've been seeing me every four weeks because I'm like older. And so I was in the chair for like 30 minutes today. They were doing all kinds of stuff in my mouth, talking about what would be best. Um, the two orthodontists like sat down and both had their hands in my mouth at the same time. Two of the um, assistants, I'm not quite sure what they're called. I don't want to offend anybody. I'm just not sure what they're called. Um, they had their hands in my mouth at the same time. They were pulling and pushing and wiring and twisting. Basically, my two canines are the only teeth that basically still need to be fixed. Everything else looks great. They said it looks great. So I'm on my last wire. I'm gonna go in in four weeks and then hopefully everything is good at that point, hopefully. And if it's good, that means I'll take them off and I can have my braces off for my brother's wedding. And if it's not, then I'll have to go back in like two weeks after that. So my mouth really already hurts. Did I tell you Avery had spacers put in? He went to the orthodontist yesterday. He's got the rubber band spacers on his molars that I hated so much. I have to do that, Kewell. going to go get his He's only nine and he's got spacers. That sounds... I, I remember having them. Come here. Look at this cat, y'all. T-Lo. <laughs> hey! Bite her ear. Bite her ear. Do not bite my ear. She wants to bite my cookie. Alright, so... I put the thing on. Mariah ran down to her mom's to grab tape or something I don't know she did something um, so this is our living room I mean it's from here I don't I mean I can tell looking at it being in the room I can kind of see a bit of a shine on the couch and I can see through the camera there's like a little bit of a line on the bottom there um, you notice the shine from the adhesive thing more than you notice the little pins which is what I was kind of worried about I was afraid you're gonna be able to see those pins um, but like you get down here, you can see them. They, they're like not rivets, but almost like the little stud kind of things. Like, hold on. We've got some like that, like the, this junk, whatever that's called. Um, hello, Doug. But yeah, it, I mean, from above normal angle, you can see a bit of a line and you can kind of tell that it's shiny but i don't know how much she had shown you guys but there was actually like through here it's kind of dark there was a bit of like the white padding fabric on the inside of the couch was starting to show from how much this one had like ripped into it and cut into it and continued to try to eat the couch because apparently she's not fat enough and i don't feed her enough so yeah I don't know how long it's gonna last. I had to kind of rig it. Um, I don't wanna flip the couch back up, but basically I had to lay the couch on its back. Um, laid it all the way down on its back and 
That way I could reach the front and the bottom because I stuck them in the bottom and like made a curb all the way around. Um, hey, hey, give me that toy. Um, and then I used just tape on the bottom too to kind of pull it like tight and get, get all the fabric loose. Um, we'll, we'll see. I'm skeptical. I don't, I don't think it's going to hold. It feels kind of cheap, but it'll definitely deter them. If they go to scratch it now, they're just going to slide off. Um, but that's not to say the tape I put on the bottom, they won't find fun and start ripping the tape apart because they're cats and cats do what they want to do. Oh. Yo, what is up guys? It's, <laughs> I can't say the rest of it. <laughs> Yo, what is up? With the Eagles like jersey and hoodie and everything on. And he goes like, uh, he's like, yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy B-401 oh. coming back at you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's like he's hilarious. It's not serious, like, but he is hilarious. Um, I've seen what is it? Oh, you've done the suh, dude. Suh, oh, oh. suh, suh, dude. I don't know. I, I just like, like, like suh, dude, too. Hey guys, hey guys, hey, hey. That's my thing. Hey guys. Okay, okay. You are still driving. Do my arms look fat from this angle? I don't know, but they do in the camera. I'm gonna. You're not gonna get camera privileges, you're gonna keep on. I don't wanna die. <laughs> don't tell them what you did today or no? You don't want to What did I do today? Put, oh, put, the, put the work. pad thing on the. Oh, yeah, I quit my job, but. Yeah. Yeah. Let's tell them a little bit about that. Go ahead. Uh, so, Sam quit his job today. I don't, I don't know if they know where I work, so I don't really They know. don't know where you work, and I don't. Was a writer slash content creator for a. Reporter. Business. Okay, That's I didn't, what I I didn't it. know if they knew that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for a business in North Carolina. We live in South Carolina. Um, I I was there for about half a year or so. Yeah, six um, months. It was a good job, good opportunity to kind of learn and figure out what I Cut! <laughs> I agree, cut. Uh, I made more money at the job I had beforehand. Yeah. Um, the hours were a little inconsistent, but yeah. they were at least first shift guaranteed yeah. you're working day you know um everything else as a reporter better kind the of better pay for better better pay um, there is a the people officer up here do you see this guy just flashes lights on thank you truck man the people We're grateful for you that i worked with at the the paper i really enjoyed i really liked everybody that i worked with co-workers um, my boss and i didn't always see eye to eye and that's kind of what ultimately pushed me out but yeah I really and like it's okay people. not to see eye to eye with your boss and still. No. Good thing we're going left. That is so bad. What's going on there? Uh, oh, I hope so. everyone's okay. They have the they have an ambulance block in that road. That's a fire truck block. And a fire. Yeah, oh, I hope bad. everyone's okay. Yeah, like I said, it, so I, I liked bad. I liked the coworkers. I liked. But like I was saying, it's okay to to not get along with your boss and stay at a job. But there is a level. We both have had bosses. I had one about two years ago, which is why I left a job and he ultimately had this one today. Like there were times that things, they disagreed on things and they that's okay to disagree. But like then there's some times that like, it, he definitely, just blatantly, you he, can't. He, he definitely put up with. used my age against me a lot. Yeah, and, and that's what mine did. My boss used that against me. And a lot acted too. like because I was young. When we're young, you get mistreated because you're young and you're dumb. To bosses and granted i mean he he has he was the boss for a reason but it doesn't give it doesn't, you the right yeah to, it doesn't give yeah. you the right to make someone else feel like feel like they're not yeah. all right so home moral to that story sam quit period yep and we're happy about it my arms look so fat quit don't have the you know ideal dream job lined up but it's in the works yeah and also piece of advice don't let someone make you feel like crap about your age. Like you're worthy in the workforce of being respected, even if you're like 12. If you're working, doesn't give someone the right to treat you like crap. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely my biggest thing is that- But I mean, our generation is known as kind of being like snowflakes, like we're the weaker, like everybody hurts our feelings, but that's not what, it, what we're saying. Like we're not saying, oh, if someone hurts your feelings, instantly quit your job. Like suck it up, buttercup, but when it gets to a level of like personal disrespect, 
Yeah, yeah. You gotta this is out. not like a, I've been looking yeah, for another this, job for over a month. Yeah, like I've been actively yeah. doing things, and I was and really like wanting to try to find something that I would put a notice in and then start that new job. Um, yeah, it just didn't work like that. Yeah, it just didn't didn't go as planned. But that's okay. Well, he was about to back hey guys. out. Hey guys. Okay. To get hit. So, <laughs> let me just tell you. So we're doing, we're running errands right now, like a bajillion errands. And we were in like the small town, I guess, that we drive through to get to our grocery store. And um, this, we literally watched this car accident happen. And the lady had the audacity when she wrecks, she oh throws up her arms at the guy like, what happened? And when she did, she had her phone in her hand. And she was the one who caused the wreck. Like, he swerved to try and get away from her, and she just was, like, coming into his lane, texting and driving. She merged into the side of him, yeah. Yeah, she was just texting and driving. Like, who? Uh, mm, whatever. I've had people do stuff like that before. Like, someone will cut me off and then be like, what, we, do you not understand that's how this, mm -hmm. <laughs> So, I just thought that was interesting to uh, share that this lady was just like all kinds of pissed off that the man did not move out of her way in, a, in enough appropriate time for her to swerve in his lane. So yeah, we just have a lot of errands to do for the rest of today, like five places to go, I think. I mean, it's crazy. So I guess we'll keep you guys updated as we go. Y'all, I am not even kidding. We just saw a second car accident. This one was way worse though way worse um the guy was like throwing a full out temper tantrum in the parking lot at target running around throwing his hands in the air like acting a fool because someone hit him and i know that accidents can be hit, scary hit him pushed him off the road and into a uh and i know that accidents can be scary but they're accidents for a reason and his kid was freaking out and he was more concerned with throwing his throwing a temper tantrum and making a scene than he was calming his kid down. And then the lady in the, that was in the car that called this car accident was just sitting there like terrified because she's thinking this man's gonna probably come try and kill her. I mean, he looked like, he looked a fool. Like, it's a, it's a car accident. I know how scary it is. Trust me, I've been in a few. But, like, you can't act like that. Especially when you have a kid that's watching you and you, you're just throwing a temper tantrum not calming your kid down, so... <laughs> we officially just want to go home and get off this road because let me tell you something today is not a good day to be out in the public it is bad so we are gonna go home we got ourselves a pineapple cutter from Target we are excited to go home and cut our pineapple that's how much longer we have until the potatoes are ready so ready for the potatoes all right guys so I just got done working out um, I am finishing up, like putting up tonight's video. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm working on. And then Sam is finishing up the majority of dinner, or I guess starting and finishing dinner, and then I'll come in and make asparagus. I think I showed, I shared with you guys our asparagus recipe and all that stuff. Um, it'll be interesting to see how I can eat all this tonight because your girl's mouth hurts so bad. I came home earlier and had to take a lot of medicine because like my my jaw hurt so bad my whole face was hurting my nose was hurting Jesus, you're being Outside. you're being very rude you won't go outside and you're being so rude doug all right cutie ready to call this vlog i'm ready to call it say bye what are you at the beacon um i loved him okay all right guys peace Say bye. Bye. I don't know which one of these I want to use. He's very focused on his seasoning. Bye, guys.